Hello viewers, this is Just Fake Network TV, a place where you can get the latest information about Nigeria news and now the news in details. Tension Oshiamale makes shocking confession about what played out in Naso Rock before Abba Kiyar is dead. The National Chairman of Progressive Congress APC, Adam Soshiamale, has recounted how late Chief of Staff to the President Abba Kiyari approached him in 2002 to support the candidacy of President Muhammad Buhari. Oshiamale said he was then the National President, Nigerian Labour Congress, when Abba Kiyari approached him. The APC chairman in his condolence message on Monday said, I recall he was the one that first approached me in 2002 as the National President of Nigerian Labour Congress to sell Buhari's candidacy to the labor movement. He invested his personal resources, energy, and wide contacts in the business world in the project. According to him, his relationship with Kayari did not start with APC Emergence as the ruling party, but earlier during his time as a labor leader. He explained that way back in 1973, he and Kihari found themselves in opposing sides of the Hasu at Zamvara Texta in Kaduna State, where he was the leader of the Workers' Union, while he represented the management as administration officer. Oshiamala recounted that, in the many brushes the union had with the management, Kihari showed a true character as a conscience man, a true Nigerian patriot, by never failing to side with workers on the core issues of human dignity and fairness. He added, following our protest, he was the lone voice at the management meeting who spoke against the operation of two classes of cartoon by the company. He was not afraid to state that having a uniform canteen for both management staff and junior workers was the only way to convince the junior workers that their meal was not inferior. The APC chairman said, even though Kiyari was supposed to be on the side of the oppressor, he persuaded the management to incur extra cost by issuing all factory workers two pairs of personal protective uniform and safety boots. The amazing thing was that, in pushing our case with management every time, Abba Kiyari never sought to be seen or worshipped as a hero for him. Advocating for social justice was not a favor, but a duty, it said. Ushio Male argued that Kiyari was not only loyal to Buhari, he was also faithful to Frank's truth thick and thin, and that his sense of humor was phenomenal. He recalled that whenever they met and he, and he complained, that the stress of running the office of national chairman was such that he had little time to socialize with old friends like him. He would tease by saying, if a young man like you is complaining of stress as ordinary national chairman of a party, I wonder what you expect someone like President Buhari, who is running the entire country at his real age, and with all he has, he has been through since the 60s and is still making sacrifices today to say, Wow. So guys, you've heard it all. According to what we heard, we can see that uh, Abba Kiari has actually made a lot of impact in the life of Adams Oshiamale and in the life of other political parties also. You know, we've heard it all, you know, and the thing is that the thing that really baffles me is that for now, nobody would like to say bad thing against Abba Kiari, trust me. Even if uh, they have a button against him, nobody is ready to come out. Look at the commissioner, uh, the, com the commissioner in Kano State. He came out and he said his mind. Look at what the governor did to him. Ganduja eventually sacked uh, commis the commissioner at the end of the day. And later, the commissioner actually tendered his apology. So this is to tell you that... Even if Abba, Abba Kiyari has a negative impact in the lives of people, nobody is ready to come out and say it. 
except for common man. And that is life for you. But within themselves, they will say whatever they want to say. You know, we all know that Abakiari is the one ruling the world. It's the, I mean, it's the one ruling in Nigeria. We all know that. But let's see what will happen now that Abakiari is gone. Let's see how they're going to do it. Because without Buhari, there is no Abakiari. And without Abakiari, there is no Buhari. And that is it. You know, and Nigerians are saying that, tell us what we want to hear, not this thing you are saying. Tell us the young man in Asurok as Nigerian president. You know, we all know everything that is going on right now. Your people are saying that uh, the young man in Asurok is not President Muhammad Buhari. That it is, uh, it is somebody else, different from Nigerians. You know, and obviously it's showing that there is somebody that is not Buhari in Asurok. Trust me, because there are a lot of things that is going on that uh, Aisha Buhari is coming out to, to say publicly. But she's actually saying it indirectly to the public. In which very soon, very soon, we'll, st we'll definitely know what is going on in Asu Rock. Whether we like it or not, we'll definitely know. God will just push them out. God will push their voice. And they will voice out. They, they, will, say, they will expose themselves by themselves. Trust me. You know. So guys, what do you think? What is your whole take about this? Your comment is highly appreciated. And kindly drop your comments at the comment section. Those who subscribe, want to say a very big thank you to you for subscribing. We we'll say God bless you. If you're yet to do so, please kindly press the subscription button. And also, please don't forget to press the notification button so that whenever we upload news, you will be the first person to watch our latest news. God bless you once again and have a wonderful day. And always stay safe. Bye.